Alright guys, welcome back. Before we get into it, I've been waiting to mention this cleanser to you guys, but they're actually sponsoring today's video, so I'm going to talk about them for a second. It's the Mountain and Gets Cleanser, and you guys know me, I have very sensitive skin, and I also work out a lot, so it's really important for me to get a cleanser that fully cleans my face. It doesn't irritate my skin, and it helps me have like a glowy but clean look. And I'm telling you, this is the cleanser if that's what you're looking for. Also a side note, I know this isn't the most important thing, but I love when cleansers or beauty products have really unique packaging. And obviously you guys can see this is the cutest packaging ever. I actually just placed a huge order on their website for like some of their candles, hand soaps, lotions, and other things that I can like actually leave out around the house because I think that this is the cutest minimal packaging ever. But aside from how cute they are, they actually have really amazing ingredients. They have prebiotic comforts, which soothe the skin, jojoba milk and oil, which softens and moisturizes the skin, meadow foam seed oil, which is an antioxidant rich fatty acid, and it has vitamin E, which helps with moisture and soothe. It's LGBTQ founded, it's also dermatologist tested, and it's vegan and cruelty free. So yeah, if you're looking for a new brand to try out, I highly, highly recommend Malin and Gitz. You guys can click the link below. I'm gonna link this cleanser, but thank you so much Malin and Gitz for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into it. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Today's a new day, a new vlog. I thought it'd be fun because I have so much to get done, like literally so many things to get done in the next couple of days. I'm going on like a trip this weekend. The only reason why I'm saying like trip is because it's pretty much a staycation. It's in Dana Point and that's in Orange County, which you guys know I just moved to Orange County. So it's not a trip for me, but a lot of other girls are flying in. A lot of girls that I've never met before, plus some girls that I have met like Lauren, Bebe Hey, which I love her. I haven't seen her in so long. so. It's gonna be really fun, but anytime before a trip, I feel like I just like have to get my life together because I hate coming home from a trip and feeling like everything is just like all over the place. So that's what today's video is, just like prepping my life for vacation. And I'm at the grocery store right now. I pulled up to Whole Foods because I went downstairs this morning to make a smoothie because I've been craving like a vanilla, like not like a vanilla frappuccino, but like a vanilla milkshake type of smoothie so that's what i want to make this morning and i had none of the ingredients so i just came to whole foods so we're gonna do a full little stock i actually leave in two days so it is gonna be like a smaller grocery haul but like i still want to stock the fridge for hunter obviously but i'm excited for the day so i thought i would just turn the camera on it's 9 21 right now i also want to give an outfit of the day i'm wearing just a chill comfy outfit today these are my princess polly like i don't know if you'd call these sweatpants or just like lounge pants but they're shiny like silk material i think they're really cute they're very comfy they feel like pj like silk pj pants and then this top is from every jewels i keep wearing it because it's so comfy and that's the outfit of the day and then you already know hold on we have on our burks today because i'm a burk girl now also ignore my voice i'm like have the worst allergies ever and i'm a little bit run down but that's okay let's go little grocery haul starting off with some of the snacks that I got these are my favorite chips they're cassava strips and they're by artisan tropical literally so good and then I got these RX bars which I tried in my last video and I'm so obsessed with them they're like normal RX bars but they added oats to them and I love them they taste so good I like the chocolate one so I got three of those then I got some blackberries to snack on and then I got some chicken breast and some turkey breast with this no soy teriyaki, I'm gonna try this. It's from Primal Kitchen. I've tried a lot of their sauces, but I've never tried this one. It's made with like coconut aminos, dates. I'm really excited. And then over here is all the stuff to make chili. I feel like when it's approaching the fall, we always have chili. Like at least once a week we make chili. So I got some avocados, zucchini to put in there, three different types of fruit, beans, great northern beans, kidney beans, black beans, vegetable broth, jalapenos. These are my favorite um, diced tomatoes at Whole Foods avocado, cilantro, and then I got a cucumber because I still have some more hummus from last week, rice cauliflower for my smoothie this morning, and then I got some Elmhurst milked oats, and then I also got a vanilla almond milk, so I'm excited for those. I was going to make a smoothie for breakfast this morning, but I didn't realize our blender was dirty, so I'm just going to have an RX bar, but that's fine because I honestly am kind of in a rush. I have some editing to do for my podcast, and I just made a coffee because I didn't have any milk this morning to make one, so we're having one a little bit late today. I worked a lot longer than I thought I was going to today, but I just got dressed for spin. I have to head out the door in, what time is it? 
It's 11, 18, I have to leave here in like 10 minutes. But my outfit of the day today is wearing an Aritzia romper. This is an aloe little shrug. I just like put it over my neck because it usually has, um, what's it called, like a mock neck. And it just kind of bugs me when I work out, so I just have been wearing it like this. I like to wear long sleeves when I spin because the studio is pretty cold before I get started. Just have my hair in a ponytail, and I'm going to bring my spin shoes, which I just keep in my car now. I'm excited to go to spin. You guys already know I'm going to Leilani at 12. My favorite class, it's only 30 minutes, and it's just like the perfect amount of workout for me. So I'm excited, get a little sweat in. I go in, go on to spin in probably like four days or so. Last time I went was when I went with Josie. So I'm excited to die and sweat. back from spin my hair is looking very crazy that was such a hard class today like I literally just like could not do the whole thing I knew you were about to jump up but I'm home with Coco now hey say hi say hi <laughs> you're so cute I'm about to make some lunch I'm trying to decide if I want to just do the chili that I got stuff for right now because that sounds really good for lunch but I don't feel like cooking right now but the blender is still dirty <laughs> so I can't make a smoothie so I'll probably just do it I'll be happy if I do it so that's what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm so lazy today. Do you know? Do you know why? <laughs> what are you doing? She loves to be scratched. Okay, let's go make some chili, girl. I can't cook without entertainment on, so I'm either going to put a podcast on or I could go get my computer and do a YouTube video. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Sydney Adams and Gretchen on Gretchen's Happy Hour podcast. That sounds like an amazing podcast, so let's okay, start um, cooking. Who's joining me for lunch and Coco. I grabbed my chips to eat with the chili. Came out good. I added um some turkey. Tasty. This better help my stuffy nose. Let me try one. These I feel like these aren't chili chips though. Yeah, not really. Like potato chips. Don't they taste like Lay's potato chips? They actually do. They look like them too. Look. They literally taste like lace. I guess you're right, they don't really go with chili. It's the time of the day where Coco needs a walk. Hey, look, look, paw. Good paw, good paw. Here you go. Good girl. So hard to get her leash on. Here you go. There we go. Ready? You ready to go? You're such a good girl. Look at her. Ready? Let's go. Let's go on our walk. Let's go. It's a little bit later. I'm drinking an Olipop. This one is the cherry vanilla. At this point, it's like, what Olipop am I drinking in the vlog? Because I drink one every single vlog. Mmm. They're just so good. This one's actually my least favorite one, though. I just feel like, I don't know, I just don't love it. But, like, it's still good. It's just, like, not my favorite. But I'm having some dinner right now. I actually made this exact same recipe in my last video. Little almond flour chicken nuggets. I still haven't made a TikTok recipe of them. Just because I haven't like perfected it. But pretty much I just take raw chicken. And I do one coat in like whisked raw egg. And then I put it into almond flour. And then I season them. And then I air fry them for like 20 minutes. Hunter's doing his fantasy draft tonight. So I'm alone tonight. I'm going to watch The Bachelor. Because it's Bachelor finale tonight. I don't really like this season. I do love Gabby. I love watching her and I actually think her guys are like really good and I can definitely see the connections. I just don't like that they had two bachelors. I just feel like it's just so pointless and they just like, we haven't really been able to see the relationships a lot this season because there's two bachelors and they're sharing the airtime. So it's hard to like be invested in any of the relationships. But if you guys keep up, my favorite is Eric and I hope that Eric wins. That's what's going on, little self care, me night, eating my chicken tenders before they get cold and that's what's going on good morning guys i just woke up a little bit ago i'm about to do some journaling this morning i'm watching hey i'm watching youtube i'm watching gretchen's vlogs sit 
doing some tricks with Coco. She gets so excited when I sit on the floor like this. Also, I just made a coffee, but I finished it. I leave for my trip tomorrow night, so I need to go to like Aritzia, get some things just to wear for the weekend. And then I also need to study for my NASM today, so I might just like go to a coffee shop over by the mall that I'm gonna go to. And then I'm also gonna go to Spin this morning. What else? What else are we gonna do? Um, there's something else. Oh, I need to get a car wash because I'm driving down there, so I'll probably have my car the whole time. So I want it to be nice and clean. I'm just gonna sit here, do some journaling, finish up watching Gretchen's vlog, and it should be a good day. Just picked out my workout set for the day. I'm wearing this set active set. I haven't worn this in forever, but it's one of my favorite colors that they have. I don't know if they still have this color because they're always getting new colors, but I'll try and find one that's similar. The material that this one is is the Sculpt Flex, which is like a ribbed, like compression material. I really like them. And then I just made my bed for the day. I was finishing up some work and I'm about to go work out. I think I'm actually going to go to Lifetime, which is funny because I just recorded a podcast episode explaining how I don't really work out alone much anymore. I always do workout classes between spin and Pilates, but that just kind of goes to show that I really do intuitive workout. Like today, it just kind of makes sense for me to go just do like my own quick little workout. Plus the Lifetime that I go to is right next to the car wash that I always go to. So I'm going to get my car wash. Like I said, I have to do that. I think I'm not going to go to the mall today, I just don't think it's going to like work out with just like the time frame. And I'll just study here, even though I know I said that this morning, but it just like, by the time I like finish up my work, I just feel like it's kind of pointless to do that. So I'll probably do that be tomorrow before I go pick the girls up at the airport. And yeah, today will just be more of like just getting all my ducks in a row. But let's go work out. I'm like loving this color right now, I think it's so cute. And by the way, if you want a time check, it's 10 a.m. I always like to know the time when I'm watching YouTube videos. Am I weird? Okay, I just finished making my matcha and some lunch, but I'm so impatient. I just opened this package that I got from Skims. I ordered just a few bodysuits this really cute skinny strap black one. This one's actually not a bodysuit, it's just one of their fitted tanks. These are my favorite pieces from Skims. I have a black one and I wear it all the time, so I got it in the color Bone. And then I also got this brown bodysuit, which has a little bit more of thicker straps. But I've been really obsessed with wearing just like neutrals, basic outfits, kind of like the model off-duty vibe. So I wanted to just like stock up on Skims. Skims is the best in the game. They're expensive, but honestly, everything that I get from Skims is so worth it. So I wanted to show you guys those really quickly, but I'm gonna sit down, finish my lunch, and then we'll start packing. Okay, we're in my room because I'm packing for our trip. I'm gonna show you guys what I packed. I pretty much just like laid out everything that I wanna wear together like as an outfit. I feel like this is the easiest way to do it, but I'm honestly not a pro packer. We don't really travel that much, and I, I'm just like not good at packing, so I don't really know if this is going to be like efficient But over here I have like all my accessories I want to bring and then I have two different day looks same pair of shorts Just so I can pack less I have both these tops from revolve that are really cute So I have that and then I'll probably wear this Princess Polly cover-up over top of those if it ever gets like chilly and then I have this two-piece set That's actually from Amazon. It's like matching shorts with this t-shirt over top that's long sleeve. I think it's really cute. I've never worn this together yet, so I'm excited to wear that. And then I have like a nighttime look, just my Skims top that I just got, bodysuit with these cargo pants that I got from Zara a while ago. Thought that would be cute with heels if we do a nice dinner one night. And then if we do like a fancy dinner, I have this really long dress that I think would be really cute. I actually got this for my birthday from Tiger Miss and I never wore it. So hopefully we'll wear that this weekend. And then I have like a beach day look. This is one of my favorite swimsuits. You can't really tell right now, but obviously I'm gonna be vlogging this trip so you guys will be able to see it, but it's like such a cute one piece, super flattering. And then I have these Princess Polly pants to go over it. And then Frankie's bikini little bucket hat. And then over here, actually let me fix the lighting. Let's close this. And then I'll open this one. Okay, so much better. This is the outfit I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. Skims top, aloe trousers, 
And then I have this aloe topped to wear another day. Like if we go get coffee, I'll maybe wear like those jean shorts or grab my aloe shorts probably. And then I have like three different workout sets because the place that we're staying is actually right next to Grit Cycle, which is a studio that I go to every single week. So I'll probably still spin just like normal just because I love it. And maybe some of them will want to come with me. I have a big pile of comfies because you can't go on a trip without a bunch of comfies. I always bring a hat because usually like one of the days I just won't feel like doing my hair. So I brought this Anine Bing hat, underwear, socks, and then a bunch of bathing suits. I have this really cute one from Revolve. I think I did good, honestly. For how many days I'm going, I don't feel like I overpacked at all. So maybe I actually am good at um, packing. I need to give myself credit. But Hunter and I are going to go to the beach tonight with Coco because dogs aren't allowed on the beach until 6 so we never really bring her just because we usually go around like 4 and we'll just stay like on top and just take her on a walk or we'll take her to like the dog park. But tonight we're like let's actually go down to the beach and have a fun little date night just because I'm obviously about to leave. And you guys know Hunter and I, we take every opportunity to have like a date. All I have to do is start packing everything into these packing cubes put it in my suitcase and then i will be set to go and then i'm actually gonna pack my skincare bag later tonight when i actually do my skincare so i know like what i definitely want to bring Okay, ignore my ugly suitcase. I, don't, I just don't like the vibe, but <laughs> I was just turning this on to say that I really like packing cubes. Like, I used to be someone who'd watch YouTube videos and be like, that just seems like an extra step for no reason. Like, I just thought people did it because it looked aesthetic or something. No, like, you can fit so much more in your suitcase, and it's really nice having them organized because I did, like, all of my workout clothes in here, my pajamas in here. So it just helps you com compartmentalize, and I actually really like them. I got mine from Amazon, super affordable. I'll link them down below. I won't link my suitcase because it just is, <laughs> I don't think you guys want that, but I left my outfit out obviously that I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow and I still need to pack my shoes. I'm feeling chicken tortilla soup, but we don't have any chicken breast, so I'm just gonna do a vegan tortilla soup and use some beans as the protein. We have some black beans, we have garbanzo beans. I'm gonna do green chilies in there. I literally do green chilies in like every single meal that I make and it makes me happy. They're so good. And then I'm gonna do this bone broth which is really good for gut health. And it's pretty much just like a chicken broth but there's some added protein in there. And then I have a bunch of frozen veggies that I'm gonna put in there. Some rice cauliflower, you can't even taste it. Butternut squash. This is what my mom always does in chili. And it's really, really yummy, especially during like the fall time. I know it's not the fall yet, I thought it was because the Starbucks drinks came out, but I'm pretending. And then I always do like bell peppers. And then I'm also going to do some taco seasoning. I'm going to use the Siete spicy taco seasoning. And then I'm also snacking on some mango, frozen mango. Normally I'm not a frozen fruit person, like I hate frozen grapes, but I do like frozen mango. on to end this vlog off i want to start a new vlog tomorrow before i leave for the trip so i just wanted to come on and say thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss my next video it's gonna be so fun and also follow me on instagram because i always like post real time what i'm doing and then obviously like i always vlog and we'll go like more in depth on the vlogs but if you like just kind of seeing like everyday stuff definitely follow me on instagram but thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one